We are joined here uh, by some guests from our VFW, um, post 334, correct? Yes, sir. Uh, we have Jim Hubbard and Chuck Haskin joining us now. Uh, they're no strangers to our ONTV <laughs> studios. We see them quite a bit because they're so active in the community. Uh, the first thing we want to promote uh, with you guys here today is you have your uh, Buddy Poppy program coming up. Uh, you may have seen these guys um, out and about selling poppies and uh, let us know when when is that happening again and what can residents expect to see out there? I'll have Chuck talk okay. about that if you don't mind. But uh, we're pulling up a little bit earlier this year. We're going to start the last weekend in April, so the 28th, 29th, and 30th, then the following weekend in May, which is the 5th, 6th, and 7th. When we go out, we'll be on the streets of Lake Orion and Oxford. We'll be at Kroger's. We'll be at Ace Hardware in Lake Orion. We'll be at Sam's Club. Well, any place that can have us, we will be. But our success, what we do is based on all these stores letting us, because now we don't have to be on the streets so much as we were in the past. And uh, very, because right now we Kroger's is one of our main places yeah. to go out and do our solicitations and all the money we raise during this time, the two weekends, has to support us for the next year. Mm. So it's our major fundraiser that supports all the programs that we help support in the areas. Um, our, one of our major programs is over in Eaton Rapids, Michigan, we have what's called the VFW National Home for Children. And in there we have up to 100 families from across the nation living how homes were built in 1950s? Uh, well, uh, yeah, they started in 26, but 26, they were built yep. through the, the years. And yep. beautiful homes, but it's a community within a community. And as of today, we have 45 children there. And these are veterans or veterans' families that lost a parent and is having trouble making life's ends meet. So mm. they come out and they live here for a while. Wow. And yep. they educate the children. Uh, one, one of the requirements of it is going to have children. So they go out and educate their children, uh, help the parents. It could be one or both. And uh, give them an education to help them when they eventually leave the home to be able to start up. And the, what the VFW does is they pay all the expenses of these homes. Hmm. So all the furniture for these people go with them. When they leave, they take the furniture with them. Wow. So when we get a new person comes in there, say comes into the Michigan house or Ohio house or whatever, um, you have to get a new stove, refrigerator, kitchen tables, beds, linens, everything that you would buy in your household, yeah. we have to buy for their household. The only thing the people are responsible for is their own cell phones. Everything yep. else there, all the food they have for their families, everything is supplied through the VFW. So oh, wow. yep. that's one of the major ones we, we support. and. Uh, then we, oh, we just said this last week we donated $300 to uh, uh, for the Girl Scouts cookies. You see them all around oh, town. Yeah. yeah, they're around. And we had one out in White Lake that was doing a program for overseas troops. So we donated $300 to buy some cookies to ship out and give the troops overseas. And you can imagine you're being on station over there and eating Army food or Navy <laughs> food or whatever and get a little thing at home and see the Girl Scout cookies. Because everybody loves Girl Scout cookies. Yeah, yes. I've been hearing them talk about that on the radio where you can, you can purchase Girl Scout cookies and then direct them to uh, include that when they ship them overseas. Yep, that's you can do idea. that. Yeah, yeah, wonderful great, idea. Yeah, it was a good yeah. one. That's so, fantastic. And we get into we think, local schools to do things with uh, all night parties and things like that. And yeah. we, we help support all of those. Yeah, and just recently yeah. we, we held our uh, food drive in February oh. here. Yep. And uh, they played a significant role in helping yep. support the Fish Food Pantry in Oxford. Uh, the Fish Food Pantry has an adopt a shelf program where community organizations or individuals can come in and adopt a shelf for the entire year. And that's exactly what the VFW has done. You want to talk about that a little bit? We've done this for what, some years now? Seven or eight years. Seven or eight right? years. We adopt <coughs> the um, pasta shelf. And for $1,200, it keeps that shelf stocked for the whole year. Mm. In fact, the fish organization today has uh, two more shelves available to the community. If they want to go out and uh, sponsor, One's a spice and the other one's a muffin shelf. <laughs> yep. But uh, if, if the audience hasn't heard of fish, it's one of the best kept secrets around this area. 
that's out in 24, just before Drano Road in Oxford. Um, it's got their name, Fish, on it. And a lot of people think it's a fish store. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right. But uh, the fish itself is an international symbol for a place to s come in and get something to eat mm -hmm. when you're looking for, when you're traveling. You're here. It started over in England. But uh, these fish things mm -hmm. happen all around the world. And this is one in our Lake Warren and Oxford area. But they're, fish is having a major food drive in May uh, with the post office, May 13th. And uh, so they'll be coming to houses, to their main stores, be picking up all kinds of foods. And they're looking for volunteers mm -hmm. to come over and help them unload the trucks as they come in and uh, also in help stock the shelves. They're gonna move from a two shift operation to a three shift operation mm -hmm. to try to handle the volume of people coming to fish right now. Um, this past March, I think it was March 1st, a federal program that's been in place for the last three years went away. It was enacted to help people during COVID to have food on their tables. Mm. COVID went away, federal program went away. Yeah. A lot of those people got free food are now out on the street looking for food again. Yeah. So fish business is sky moving. And yeah, for those of you who don't understand how the, uh, the post office food drive works, uh, on, what is it, May 13th, did you say? May 13th. May 13th. Yep. Saturday. You're asked to, uh, they'll provide bags, but you can use any bag. You fill it up with canned goods, uh, non-perishable items, and hang that at your mailbox, leave yep. it at your mailbox, and then as the letter carriers make their rounds, if they see bags out there, they'll collect them and deliver them back to the post right. office yep. here mm -hmm. in Lake Orion. And uh, I've shot video the past few years where you'll see a small army of volunteers uh, bringing that in and putting them in, in carts. And then uh, the, the people over at Fish come and collect that and take it back to their headquarters in, in Oxford. And uh, that's a major one. That yep. helps keep their shelves stocked for uh, at least a few months right. uh, throughout the year. So that's a great program. Yep. They also enjoy cash donations to the fish organization too because they can take that monies and they have special places they can purchase food at a better price than we yeah. can yeah so yeah. they're more than willing to take a cash donation for the fish organization and uh, it, that makes it easier for them too that they're not wrestling big cans all the time but they can purchase what they really need right. and that does help the community it's all about keeping the community well and healthy mm -hmm. uh, what better program could you have than yeah. f furnishing food, food that the community Basically. needs uh, at this time? Yeah, right. you know, it's interesting. You mentioned it a moment ago. During those COVID years, yep. uh, you would think the need would be greater, but it was actually the opposite where you said the government was sort of taking yep. care of people during those COVID years. Now that same support is not, not coming yeah. and we're all dealing with inflation and yep. the cost of groceries is skyrocketing. And now the need is greater than ever. Yeah. So fish greater than ever support. Right. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. If, so if anybody wants to sponsor a shelf, and or wants to volunteer in May, they call 248-628-3933, and that's the phone number for fish. And the operator there will take care of it. Yeah. But uh, mm. we felt we first was going to go over and um, help stock, pay for the food on a shelf. And then we heard about the Stadapa shelf where we just give them money, as Jim said, and yeah. they go out and get the food at the a better prices. price. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Save money, it. help the community more. Yeah. Sure. And I can imagine how popular that mm -hmm. pasta shelf is. Well, I absolutely. Mean, it's, it's easy to prepare a meal, it's tasty, yeah. and I'm sure that stuff is flying off the shelf. Yes. Yep. Yep. Yeah. More than, more than ever. One of the most popular ones they have. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, but the reason we can do that enables us to do that is our buddy poppy program right, right. so yep. if it we didn't have the community support on donations for our body poppies then um we wouldn't be able wouldn't to do all of this in fact we have one new thing that we're working on right now we'll have available by time of the first uh poppy day in april is last few years has been getting more and more people coming up and they don't carry cash anymore yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, so it's a huge problem. So we used to get penny, you know, we could used to get pennies and nickels, dimes, out in today's inflation, dollars and such. And we are working with uh, PNC Bank on developing a QR code mm -hmm. 
that we'll have available. Maybe we'll add it to our signs and we have a sheet of paper to hand to somebody. And if they have a credit card, they can do the QR code and fill out the information and automatically go into our Buddy Poppy Fund. Yeah. So hopefully that will help up. Yeah, it's the new future that's yep. going on. Yeah. You don't carry so. much cash anymore. Well, in the meantime, you know, you might want to hit the ATM and just keep some cash on oh, you. Yeah. Now, I, I did that for the Girl Scouts. I knew it was Girl Scout cookie season, so uh -huh. I made sure I had some yep, cash absolutely. in my wallet. And, of course, I ran into them at Kroger and uh, mm -hmm. loaded up and yep. gave them a nice little tip. Uh, you could do the same thing for the Buddy Poppy program. If, if mm -hmm. you know that it's right around the corner, which it is, uh, keep some cash on you yeah. and make a donation when you see these guys at these businesses um, uh, handing out the Buddy uh, Poppies. Now, you've gotten away from standing in intersections. Did we're that trying. become dangerous? or We're, what? Yeah. we're all aging out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're, you know. Fifteen years ago, you know, we were all spring chickens yeah. around. But <laughs> now that we're getting in our late seventies and stuff, all pretty much all the VFWs, um, the Vietnam era veterans, and a few Korean, uh, we ha we are fortunate to still have a couple of uh, World War II veterans right. still wow. with us. Wow. But a lot of posts don't. Yeah. And uh, again, the age is a lot when you can't jump around in the streets like we used to. <laughs> like, but it's more so it f gives us all a. a, a an easier route. Yeah. Some needs to sit down at tables. Uh, some can stand for the for the six eight hours a day we ask to do. Yeah, but yeah, it, it's just yeah. that we're getting older, and but we need to fulfill our obligation. Yeah. And the obligation is our communities wherever we're at. Every post does the same thing. You know, try to help the, every community that we're in. Yeah, so that's what it's all yeah, about. But you get you get out there in the road trying to stand between the cars and that. Yeah, it gets yeah. it gets dangerous. It gets yeah, dangerous yeah. out there. So there's a few streets we still do because <laughs> they're very popular areas for getting sure. light. And uh, one of the ones I know the best is down by the uh, Orient Veterans Memorial. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Still that, do that. Uh, Bob Watros will be down there and oh, great. Uh, for yep. the two weekends he's there. Yeah. So, now uh, speaking of the memorial, yep. um, I want to kind of wind things down by talking about the events you have planned for Memorial Day weekend. I know that's a big weekend here in Lake Orion. People show their support and love for our, our, our uh, people who served. Um, what's planned for Memorial Day uh, mm -hmm. in Lake Orion? Well, uh, one of the first things we do is uh, we have the uh, 5K run and the uh, five uh, mile run. You know, there's, there's two different races at the same time. Uh, run or walk. Uh, that starts out things and that's when we donate flags and things like that. It's all about keeping the uh, the uh, area uh, knowing that we're there, you know. Yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, patriotism is a big part of our organization yep. and that's what we're there doing, just the simple things. And that but 5k run helps generate some revenue. Yes it does. For the that, that goes to the memorial. 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 Yeah. 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 the memorial. Keep what you can do and do. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, we're, everything at the memorial is paid for by the donations of the community. Uh, what a wonderful memorial we have, uh, and it's all supported and paid for, everything there. So, and that's what it's been from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, you, we get a little money, we get an, a new statue or uh, something that has to be done at the memorial. So it's all community supported, the memorial is. Uh, then we have a program that we also have speakers and whatnot at usually about uh, one o'clock, you know. Yeah. And the, they have the parade in town. Uh, it's probably uh, close to 11 or something like that. And then, but the whole day is planned uh, pretty much uh, around veterans and, and the support. In mm -hmm. the Remember veterans. Yep. In what we are supposed to do as yeah. veterans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, there's several ceremonies that take place earlier in the day. Yep. Uh, East Lawn Cemetery has yep. a little ceremony. Uh, Children's Park, uh, they Absolutely. do a water ceremony for those lives lost at sea uh, where they throw a wreath into Paint Creek. Um, and then, like you said, the parade and then the big ceremony at the Veterans Memorial. So come on out, show your support Absolutely. Um, uh, to the guys who uh, fought for this country. Yeah, and this year at the memorial, we have a couple of new um, place cards over and the victory garden that was been out there in the community so well enjoyed was been totally revamped and yeah. redone and it's totally gorgeous yep. just gorgeous what they did yeah we could thank yeah. the folks over at the home depot foundation yeah. mm -hmm. who have done numerous improvements uh, over at the the memorial including yep. the the band shell i yep. guess you'd call it the stage 
And they did have the the wooden Victory Garden over there. They've replaced that with a more Masonary, robust, right. uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Victory Garden. Well, and the really new signage too, with uh, to honor the the Rosie the Riveters and the women who yep. served. Yeah. The women who served, and so, it, it looks fantastic. Way oh, it was yeah. executed there. Yeah, so. what a beautiful memorial. I mean, you know, I, w I was there at the beginning when they broke ground on yeah, that thing. Absolutely. And, oh. and watching it evolve over time and adding different yeah. components and Look. monuments over the years. The mm -hmm. latest are the flags. The, isn't oh, that a yeah, wonderful, yeah. wonderful yeah. thing? That's mm -hmm. a, the latest thing that we've done there. Uh, Military flags are on the, the service outskirts. flags, you yeah. know. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, even the Space Force. That's which right. Which is yeah, just getting off the ground. Too, yeah. We have a flag for it. So <laughs> it, it's what we do. Yeah, yeah. It gives the community some place to gather uh, yeah. in important t times, you know. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. So where where does the VFW gather? Is, do you have a headquarters or where do you meet? Right now we are up on Drainer Road at the Lake Point Community Church. Okay. Yep. Uh, we were at other places, but this we've kind of settled into. A, it's a very mm -hmm. nice uh, setting. You know, they have a nice kitchen. Uh, the, the auxiliary provides a, a meal prior to our meetings. We all, I think, because uh, it gets all us all of us together, uh, have a little camaraderie, uh, have a good meal provided by the auxiliary, and then we go into our meeting sessions. Usually about seven o'clock. Okay. It takes an hour, maybe an hour and fifteen minutes, to discuss all the different things we're doing, uh, from car shows to to uh, the. Uh, different things of the Voice Democracy program, Patriots mm -hmm. Pen program that we just finished up with. So it's just a lot of a lot of things that we do. Yep. That's yep. great. Mm -hmm. And you have a Facebook presence and yep. Uh, yep. how else can uh, anyone get a hold of you if you have if they have any questions? Well they can call us directly. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, you, your best number has been calling Jim. Your, your number. Yeah, my phone's on just about every piece of. <laughs> I've been <laughs> we, commanding all out. We do it that way because so. okay. we, we don't have a post where people just can walk up and see where we're at. Yeah, yeah. Where, where you see us more is just when we're out in the community. Yeah. And um, but if they need to get of us, we have Jim's phone number. That everybody calls, or we have a post office box. Yep. That uh, they can send things. If somebody wants to make a donation to us, oh, sure. they can go out there and. It's uh, post Office Box 652 on uh, Lake Oregon, Michigan, 48362. Okay. And um, we take, we never turned down a donation yet. Sure, and sure. And we turn around and, and give. But we have one thing that we do is we volunteer at funerals. Uh, we go do the gun salute and oh, the yeah. bugle. Yeah. And our honor guard goes up the third Tuesday every month to Great Lakes National Cemetery where we spend the whole day up there doing funerals. And um, this past month, we, uh, which was last week, we did four funerals. It's kind of a slow period of the year with uh, the switch from caskets to cremations. Mm -hmm. That a lot of people keep the cremations so the weather gets better. Mm -hmm. But once we get going again, and uh, probably in the April going onward, we'll, we'll go out there, we'll probably be doing 13 to 16 funerals a day. Wow. Every day. But. If you haven't been out to the National Cemetery up in Holly, Michigan, it is one gorgeous place, and it's well maintained. And they, their business is great. Uh, <laughs> they're expanding, they're expanding, and they're expanding. And, they're expanding. and we're in by I think two years, they're almost going to double the size of that cemetery. Mm -hmm. And it's way, way past ex what they thought they were going to do. Yeah. So um, the last meeting we had with the administration up there, they're running at a volume about three times of what was the original plan. Yeah. So, but uh, everybody found out about it, mm -hmm. and so veterans, instead of being on the local cemeteries, they all go up to Great Lakes National Cemetery, which covers all the people in the state of Michigan. We have another one over in Grand Rapids called uh, Fort, Fort Custard. Yep. And, but uh, there's nothing compared to what we're doing up here in Holly. Yeah. So, all right. Well, guys, thanks for coming down, and thanks we for all the good work you do in the community. And oh, appreciate uh, you having us. Yeah, and we'll keep spreading the word and let people know when you're out and about. And uh, if we don't see you before, we'll see you on Memorial and Day. If anybody would like to join, we certainly can use the extra hand. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you. you.